Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Vindi. I am happy to meet you through the video lecture series on the subject Heater Mass Transfer. And today, the lecture is lecture number is 6 on the model Mass Transfer. So, we will be solving problem in the Mass Transfer Part 3. And we recap the convective mass transfer correlations for the uh, internal flow and the external flow. And we discussed various equations, uh, Sherwood number as a function of Reynolds number and the Schmidt number. Using those correlations, we will solve the problem. So, the learning outcome for the lecture, at the end of this lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in the convective mass transfer. We take example number 1 from May 2007 question paper. Air at 27 degrees Celsius and 1 bar flows over a wet plate 0.5 meter long at a velocity of 50 meters per second. Calculate the mass transfer coefficient of water vapor in air at the end of the plate. Take diffusion coefficient of water vapor uh, in air as 0.26 in 10 power minus per meter square per second. Temperature given data, temperature is 27 degree Celsius, pressure equal to 1 bar, length equal to 0.5 meter, velocity equal to 50 meters per second and diffusion coefficient is 0.26 in 10 power minus per meter square per second. The kinematic viscosity of air from the hidden mass transfer data book at 27 degree Celsius, nu equal to 15.718 in 10 power minus 6 meters square per second and calculate the Reynolds number. So, Reynolds number equal to UL by nu, uh, which is 15 into 0.5 divided by 15.178 10 power minus 6 equal to 1.59 in 10 power 6. The flow is turbulent. And we calculate the schmidt number, which is nu by D, kinematic viscosity divided by the diffusion coefficient, 15.718 in 10 power minus 6 divided by 0.26 in 10 power minus 4 equal to 0.6. And the Sherwood number for Turbulent flow from the page number 177 in the Mass Data Book. Sherwood number equal to 0 0.0296 and Reynolds number to the power 0 0.8 and Schmidt number to the power 0.33. So, Sherwood number equal to KL by D, substituting Reynolds number to the Schmidt number. So, 0.0296 into 1.56 into 10 power 6 to the power 0 0.8 into 0 0.6 to the power 33 equal to 2283.1. Now, the mass transfer coefficient K equal to 2283.1 into D divided by L, substituting and calculating the mass transfer coefficient K equal to 0 0.119 meters per second. So, the answer to the problem, the mass transfer coefficient of water vapor in air is 0 0.119 meters per second. We take another example, example number 2 from May 2006 question paper. Dry air at 20 degrees Celsius with the density 1.2 kilograms per meter cube. Kinematic viscosity 15 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. Diffusion coefficient 4.2 into 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. Flows over a plate of length 50 centimeter, which is covered with a thin layer of water at a velocity of 1 meters per second. Estimate the local mass transfer coefficient at a distance of 10 centimeter from the leading edge and the ma average mass transfer coefficient. So, the given data, temperature equal to 20 degrees Celsius, density equal to 1.2 in 10 power minus 3, 1.2 kilogram per meter cube, kinematic viscosity is 15 into 10 power minus 6, velocity is 1 meters per second, length equal to 0.5 meter, x is the position from the leading edge is 0.1 meter, diffusion coefficient is 4.2 in 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. At x equal to 0.1 meter, we calculate the Reynolds number. Reynolds number equal to ux by nu 1 into 0 0.1 divided by 15 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 6666.7. The flow is laminar. We calculate the schmidt number which is nu by d which is 15 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4.2 into 10 power minus 5 equal to 0 0.36. For laminar flow, the local Sherwood number, page number 176, hidden mass on the data book. Sherwood number equal to 0 0.332 into Reynolds number to the power 0 0.5 and Schmidt number to the power 0 0.33. So, Kx by D equal to 0 0.332, 6,666.7 to the power 0 0.5 into 0 0.36 to the power 0 0.33 equal to 19.29. So, the local mass transfer coefficient K equal to 
And the average share root number is 0.664 Reynolds number to the power 0.5 and stimulant number to the power 0.33. Substituting the value share root number KL by D equal to 86.27 and the average mass transfer coefficient K equal to 86.27 into D divided by L equal to 7.24 in 10 power minus 3 meters per second. So in all the calculations, you use the calculator, carefully calculate the value without any mistake. And the answer local mass transfer coefficient x equal to 0.1 meter equal to 8.1 10 power minus 3 meters per second and average mass transfer coefficient at x l equal to 0.5 meter equal to 7.24 10 power minus 3 meters per second. We take example number 3 air at 30 degree Celsius temperature flows at 45 meters per second over a past year wet flat plate 0.5 meter long. Make calculation for the mass transfer coefficient of water vapor in the air. Assume that the water vapor content in the air initially is negligible and taking the following thermophysical properties. Diffusion coefficient 0.256 in 10 power minus 4 meters square per second. Density equal to 1.165 kilogram per meter cube. Absolute viscosity is 1.86 in 10 power minus 3 kilogram per meter second. Specific heat is 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and Prandtl number equal to 701.701. .701. So this is from May 2010 question paper and the given data T equal to 30 degree Celsius, density equal to 1.165, kinematic absolute viscosity is 1.86 10 power minus 5 kilogram per meter, meter second, Kin kinematic viscosity which is mu by rho which is 1.6 in 10 power minus 5 meter square per second, velocity is 45 meters per second and the length equal to 0.5 meter and diffusion coefficient is 0.256 in 10 power minus 4 meter square per second. And we calculate the Reynolds number for the flow over plate, so which is rho u l by mu, substituting rho equal to 1.165 into 45 into 0.5 divided by 1.86 into 10 power minus 5 equal to 1.41 into 10 power 6. The flow is turbulent. We calculate this commutative number, which is nu by d. Again, the value is 0.625. And the Sherwood number for Turbulent flow from the page number 177, share root number equal to 0 0.0296, Reynolds number to the power of 0.8, stimulant number to the power of 0.33. So, substituting Reynolds number and the stimulant number, uh, calculating share root number KL by D equal to 2220.76 and uh, calculating mass transfer coefficient K equal to 2220.76 into D by L, which is 0 0.114 meters per second. So the answer to the problem, the mass transfer coefficient of water vapor in the air is 0 0.114 meters per second. We take example number 4. Air at 20 degrees Celsius with the following properties. Rho equal to 1.205 kg per meter cube. Kinematic viscosity is 15 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. Diffusion coefficient is 4.166 in 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. Flows over a tray of length 320 millimeter and width 420 millimeter full of water with a velocity of 2.8 meters per second. The total pressure of moving air is 1 atmosphere and the partial pressure of water vapor, water present in the air is 0 0.0068 bar. If the temperature of the water surface is 50 degrees Celsius, calculate the evaporation or rate of water. So this is from three question paper, May 2010, May 2012 and May 2019. And the given data, temperature equal to 20 degrees Celsius, density equal to 1.205 kg per meter cube, kinematic viscosity is 15 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second, length equal to 0.32 meter, width equal to 0.42 meter of the plate, u velocity equal to 2.8 meters per second, diffusion coefficient is 4.166 in 10 power minus 5 meter square per second, and the partial pressure of water vapor, saturation pressure of uh, water. Uh, at a temperature, given temperature, at the air temperature is 0 0.0068 bar. This is given in the problem. The air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Reynolds number, so calculate the Reynolds number. Reynolds number equal to UEL by nu, which is 59,733.3. The flow is laminar. 
we calculate this commutative number which is nu by d 15 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4.1 double 6 10 power minus 5 equal to 0.36. So, the average Sherwood number for laminar flow from page number 176, Sherwood number equal to 0.664 into Reynolds number to the power 0.5. It's commuted number to the power 0.333. So, KL by D equal to 0.664 into 59733.3 to the power 0.5 into 0.36 to the power triple three equal to 115.48. And we calculate the mass transfer coefficient K equal to 115.48 into D by L. So, substituting for D and L this equal to 0 0.015 meters per second. Now, from the steam table at the temperature 15 degrees Celsius. So, the surface water water surface temperature 15 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure is 0 0.0170 bar. Now, mass concentration of water vapor at the surface of the water and with the air, we calculate the surface of water PS1 divided by PS1 MW divided by RO into T. So, PS1 is the saturation pressure at the surface of the water, T1 is the temperature of water, MW is the uh, molecular weight of water, and RO is the universal gas constant. So, substituting rho w1 equal to 0 0.0128 kilogram per meter cube and similarly rho w2 the uh, density of uh, water vapor in the air at 20 degree Celsius. So, the partial pressure is 0 0.0068 bar into 10 power 5 into 18 divided by universal gas constant plus uh, 293. So, it gives 0 0.00485 kilogram per meter cube. Now, the mass of water evaporated mw equal to ka into rho w1 minus rho w2. So, 0.015 into 0.32 into 0.42 into 0.0128 minus 0.00485 equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 4 kilogram per second. So, the answer to the problem mass of water evaporated equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 4 kilogram per second. We take example number 5 water at water in a 5 meter by 15 meter outdoor swimming pool is maintained at temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The average temperature and relative humidity are 37 degrees Celsius and 40 percent respectively. Assuming a wind speed of 2 meters per second in the direction of the long side of the pool, estimate the mass transfer coefficient for evaporation of water from the pool, pool surface and rate of evaporation in kilograms per day. This is from May 2017 question paper. And temperature of the air equal to 37 degrees Celsius. And the L equal to length of the swimming pool is 15 meter, width of the swimming pool 5 meter, velocity is 2 meters per second, and temperature of the water is 27 degrees Celsius. Water in the swimming pool. At the TA equal to 37 degrees Celsius, uh, from the steam table, uh, sorry, kinematic viscosity equal to 16.67 to 10 per minus 6 meters per, meter square per second. And uh, diffusion coefficient from this heat and mass and data book 27.4 10 per minus 6 meters square per second. And from the steam table at 37 degrees Celsius, the specific volume of the steam is 20.557 meter cube per kilogram. So, density of the water vapor. So, 1, one by the specific volume is 0 0.0486 kilogram per meter cube. At water temperature equal to 27 degrees Celsius, again the uh, specific volume of the steam from the steam table is 38.813 meter cube per kilogram. And the density 1 by specific volume equal to 0.2576 kilogram per meter cube. And this commutative number is nu by d, which is 0 0.61 for the problem. 16.672 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 27.4 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 0 0.61. So, Reynolds number, so ul by nu equal to 2 into 15 divided by 16.672 into 10 power minus 6, which is 1.8 into 10 power 6. The flow is laminar turbulent combined. Now, for the combined flow, Sherwood number equal to 0 0.037, Reynolds number to the power 0 0.8 minus 871 in scubit number to the power 0.33. So, KL by D equal to substitute numerical values. So, the Sherwood number equal to 2433.89 and the mass transfer coefficient is K equal to 2433.89 into D divided by L. Substituting for diffusion coefficient the length of the swimming pool. So, the K equal to 4.44 in 10 power minus 3 meters per second. And mass of water evaporated MW equal to K into rho W1 minus rho W2. So, the K equal to 4.44 in 10 power minus 3. Area of the swimming pool 15 meter by 5 meter and rho W1 is 0.2576. Rho W2 equal to 0 0.0486. So, calculating it is 25.3 kilograms per second. And 
in a day 2.18 per 6 kilograms per day. So the mass transfer coefficient answer to the problem mass transfer coefficient is 4.44 10 power minus 3 meters per second and the mass of water evaporated equal to 2.18 10 power 6 kilograms per day. We take example number 6 air at 20 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere pressure flows with a velocity of 2.5 meters per second inside a 12 mm diameter tube. The inside surface of the tube contains a deposit of naphthalene. Determine average mass transfer coefficient for the transfer of naphthalene from the pipe surface to the air. Take kinematic viscosity is 15.7 10 power minus 6 meters square per second for air and diffusion coefficient is 0.62 to 10 power minus 2 meters square per second. So, this is from November 2016 question paper. So, write down the given data. So, temperature equal to 20 degrees Celsius. Kinematic viscosity is 15.7 10 power minus 6 meters square per second. Velocity is 2.5 meters per second. Diameter of the pipe equal to 12 mm, 0 0.012 meter. And diffusion coefficient is 0.6 to 10 power minus 5 meters square per second. So, calculating the Reynolds number for pipe flow through the pipeline, Reynolds number equal to u into small d divided by nu. So, small d is the diameter of the pipe. So, 2.5 10 power, uh, 2.5 into 0 0.012 divided by 15.7 10 power minus is equal to 1910.8. The flow is laminar. So, the value is less than 2300. The flow is laminar. And schematic number equal to nu by d equal to 15.7 10 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.6 10 power minus 5 equal to 2.53. So, the Sherwood number for laminar flow inside, a, inside the pipe for constant mass concentration of naphthalene equal to 3.66. So, Sherwood number kd by capital D, k into diameter divided by the diffusion coefficient equal to 3.66. So, k equal to 3.66 into diffusion coefficient divided by diameter. So, substitute the numerical values k equal to 1.89 10 power minus 3 meters per second. So, the answer to the problem, the average mass transfer coefficient of trans for the transfer of naphthalene is 1.89 10 power minus 3 meters per second. We take example number 7 from November 2007 question paper. So, air at 25 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure flows with the velocity of 3 meters per second inside a 10 mm diameter tube of 1 meter length. The inside surface of the tube contains deposits of naphthalene. Determine average mass transfer coefficient. You take d equal to 0 0.62 into 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. So, from the data book, to, uh, sorry, given data 25 degree Celsius temperature, velocity equal to 3 meters per second, diameter equal to 10 mm 0 0.01 meter. Diffusion coefficient is 0 0.62 10 power minus 2 meter square per second. So, kinematic viscosity of air from the data book at 25 degrees Celsius, nu equal to 15.53 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. Reynolds number, so u d by nu equal to 1931.7, the flow is laminar again. So, the Sherwood number for laminar flow inside a pipeline for constant mass concentration of naphthalene equal to 3.66. Now, Sherwood number equal to KD by capital D equal to 3.66 and the mass transfer coefficient 3.66 into diameter as a diffusion coefficient divided by diameter equal to 3.66 into 0 0.62 10 power minus 5 divided by 0 0.01 equal to 2.27 10 power minus 3 meters per second. So, the answer to the problem, the average mass transfer coefficient for the transfer of naphthalene is 2.27 10 power minus 3 meters per second. And we take the example number 8 from the November 2008 question paper. So, air at 1 atmosphere 25 degree Celsius containing a small quantity of iodine flow with a velocity of 6.2 meters per second inside 35 mm diameter tube. Calculate the mass transfer coefficient of for iodine. Take thermophysical properties of air kinematic viscosity nu equal to 15.5 10 power minus 6 meters square per second and diffusion coefficient is 0.82 to 10 power minus 5 meters square per second. So, a given data, temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, kinematic viscosity 15.5 10 power minus 6 meters square per second, velocity is 6.2 meters per second, diameter equal to 35 mm, 0 0.035 meter, and diffusion coefficient is 0 0.8 to 10 power minus 5 meters square per second. So, we calculate the Reynolds number. So, Reynolds number equal to Ud by nu 
which is 6.2 into 0 0.035 divided by 15.5 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 14,000. Now the flow is turbulent. The Reynolds sample is greater than 2,300. So the flow is turbulent. For scheminate number nu by d, we calculate 15.5 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 0.82 into 10 power minus 5 equal to 1.89. And for turbulent flow inside the pipeline, page number 177, the Sherwood number is given by 0 0.023. Reynolds number to the power 0.83 and schematic number to the power 0.44. So, Sherwood number is K into small d divided by capital D. Substituting Reynolds number the uh, schematic number, calculating the Sherwood number equal to 84.07 and the mass transfer coefficient K equal to 84.07 into diffusion coefficient divided by the diameter. So, 84.07 into 0.8 to 10 power minus 5 divided by 0 0.035 equal to 0 0.02 meters per second. And the answer to the problem, the average mass transfer coefficient is for iodine is 0 0.02 meters per second. And these are all the books I referred for preparing the slides. You can also refer to it for additional uh, information. And I have published a book on the subject. You can refer to it for additional theory, simple theory concept and uh, more problem on the mass transfer. And if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer. And uh, if you have any comments on the video, you can also pass the comment. Uh, I will I will improve the video in future. So thank you for watching.